Okay, here we go. Dad, I don't feel so good. Really? I don't think I can go to school today. Yeah, what's the matter? My glands. Well, your glands don't feel swollen, hon. That's the problem. Yeah, huh? I think they shrunk. Right. <laughs> Just say, ah. Uh, oh. I mean, it looks okay, okay? I knew it. They shrunk so much, now they're gone. You, you know what's good for shrunken, gone glands? Get up and go to school. Come on. Dad, there's nothing wrong with my glands. I have an even bigger problem. Well, you want to talk about it? This is woman stuff. I think I need mom for this one. I'm a gynecologist. You want to talk to a lawyer? <laughs> Look, sometimes, you know, if there's something difficult that a person can't really get out, if they whisper it, um, they, they feel a little better. So if we just keep it between the two of us, nobody else is going to know. All right. Yeah. All right, now tell me what it is. Oh, honey, don't worry about that. Some girls develop them later than others. What if I don't develop them at all? But, but you will. When? Uh, when? Well, I, I don't, I don't know. But, Dad, I waited all summer for them. Yeah, well, <laughs> you see, some, some, some people don't get summer ones. They, they get, the, uh, they get the ones, uh, and, and I have heard that the fall ones are much better. But, Dad, look at me. Uh -huh. I'm a sixth grader in a fifth grader's body. Look, there's something that perhaps the two of us can share. There was a boy in our class, sixth grade, had a mustache. And man, I just admired that so much. I wanted a mustache, and my little bald upper lip was just shining out there. And this guy had a comb. He would comb it, and then sometimes he would trim it till it was real thin, you know? Then sometimes he'd let it go, and he'd drink milk, and it was still around his mouth. My milk fell all down in my mouth. <laughs> then I developed something that this guy with the mustache didn't have and all the others didn't have. What? One day, I did an imitation of our vice principal, Mrs. Mars, and all the girls loved it. And it was something that that guy couldn't do with the mustache. Yeah, I mean, Mrs. Mars, she talked like this. Huxtable. Huxtable. I want you to put on your thinking cap <laughs> Dad, you're funny. Yeah, well, thank you. So you see, the two of us, we have something in common. But, Dad, I don't want a mustache. <laughs> Somehow you missed the point. <laughs> no, my point is it doesn't make any difference. You see, what it is is your personality. Now, I tell you, and not because I'm your father, but when you smile, I mean, you can light up a room. You have a great brain, great smile. Look, the smile makes me smile. I was depressed until you smile. <laughs> See? And you go outside and you smile and the bus goes by. I bet you the bus will smile. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. There you go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Get yourself. Okay. And tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. All right. Okay. Out the door. Yeah. Out one, two. 